Well, good morning, Mr. Curry's eighth grade social studies class. I'm just wondering how you're doing at this point. I know that uh, I'm being driven just a little bit crazy with all the craziness going on around us. Now, I just wanted to go on before we get going. I want to let you know that uh, this is a virtual lesson which begins on Monday, April the 13th, and it must be turned in Monday, April the 20th. All of your lessons will be due on Monday, the April the 20th. Now, with that being said, each Monday when we have virtual lessons, there'll be a new one loaded up. Now, how can you get Mr. Curry answers to questions that are asked? Well, here's how you do it. You can either take a piece of paper, write your answers down, and take a picture, and then email it or text it to Mr. Curry. Or you can simply push the little button at the top of Google Classroom and just hit turn it in. Now remember, these are due the Monday after they are assigned. So this one, April the 13th, it's due on Monday, April the 20th. Now, with that being said, I want you to understand you must look at every one of these slides because there are sources on the slides. And at the end of those sources, there is a question asked where you will type your answer in on the Google slide unless you're unable to, in which case you'll put it on a piece of paper, take a picture and send it to Mr. Curry. So you want to know what we're going to be concentrating on? Well, let me tell you. We're going to be looking at you describing the abolitionist movement and identifying figures and organizations involved in the debate over slavery, which should include, which will include, the leaders of the Underground Railroad. Now remember, read all of the slides. One of the last slides on here has my contact information my cell phone, and my email. Should you have any questions while you're doing my work, please call me, text me, or email me, and I will get right back to you as soon as I can. Now, with that being said, there's also a writing prompt slide. If for some reason you do not have enough room for your answer, add a slide and put your answer on the slide that you add. Look, let's get going. 